When I look back at Rio, the race itself, I didn't have ideal preparations. I crashed in training, just made a mistake, um, went over the bars, head first into the jump and broke my left collarbone and was severely concussed. I basically spent four years injury free from London to, to Rio. And then eight weeks before Rio, I'm back in exactly the same position as I was before London with another broken collarbone. You know, at four weeks, I got back on the bike because I knew that I needed to get on the bike. You know, I never anticipated having to use the first two days of practice at the Olympics to try and continue to you know, work on the technical aspects of the sport that I hadn't been able to for, for a few weeks prior. I've learned over my time as a bike rider that if you try and wrap yourself in cotton wool and you try and protect yourself, then the chances of getting hurt are way higher than if you're willing to just go out and put everything on the line. I think when you get to the Olympics, Injuries and everything else just go out the window. It's just like you're there to race. The surgeons that I worked with were amazing, and they they understood what you know what I was asking, why I was asking it. But at the same time, there's no way they could condone going on the track or on on a BMX bike with a collarbone that was still ultimately broken. But that's what you do for the Olympics. You you're willing to risk everything for it. When I woke up on race day, I, I felt relaxed, ready to race. To be honest, just like it was a normal race. It was something that you know, I felt I was in control of and you know, ready to go. Yeah, in that first race, I, you know, I, I, I came into some trouble in the first corner, and yeah, I hit my head again, and that was, you know, that I, I was concussed again. You know, straight away withdrawn from competition, and my my Olympic dreams and aspirations were over for another another four years. I worked my socks off and did everything I could to get there and then almost felt like, what, what for? I might as well have just thrown the towel in eight weeks ago. You know, that's not me as a person. I, I never would have done that. You just feel like you've had like the carpet pulled from under your feet. I think that the hardest thing for me is actually not have had the opportunity to race. That is, that's like really difficult to deal with because I can deal with not being good enough. I've, I, I train hard and I, know I have good days at the track and then I also have bad days at the track and ultimately if I was to have gone there and not been good enough then I feel like I could deal with that but the fact that I, I didn't have that, the opportunity to race is um, yeah, it's, it's something that I've never really experienced before and, and it's proved to be a little bit more difficult than I maybe anticipated to start with. Of course I love winning right, races, that's like more important to me than anything when I'm in that headspace. Um, but ultimately, you know, I just feel lucky to be able to, to do a sport that I really love day in, day out and, and try and like, have the opportunity really to race and maybe that's why I feel as sour as I do about Rio because I didn't have the opportunity and for me that's really, really important is having the opportunity to do what I do, having opportunities to race big races. That's something that, you know, I've never taken for granted and perhaps I feel like I've sort of taken away a little bit. Um, in Rio. I do have like quite a good balance I think with myself as a bike rider and then myself as a person. I don't feel like you know winning the Olympics will define me as a person. I think I take comfort in that. I'm content with who I am and what I've achieved so far. I've had some time away from BMX and had some other exciting opportunities to do some stuff that I'm quite passionate about. Myself and my girlfriend and then another couple are opening a coffee shop local to where we live in, in Manchester. All my friends, 26, 27 years old, they go to the pub for a drink and that's where they socialise. You know, we aren't able to do that obviously, so I think that coffee sort of replaces that side of things for us and it becomes a massive part of our social life. The shop's going to be called Common Ground. It's been really exciting so far and we hope to be open in the next couple of months. I'm looking forward to next season. I want to race in the US quite a bit more than, than what I have done. I love trying to win the world, so that's always massive for me. And wearing the rainbow jersey is, um, yeah, it's mega. I love it, absolutely love it. Yeah, I've been super lucky to have, have had the honor of wearing that jersey for, for 12 months. And yeah, if I could wear it again, I'll be, um, I'll be over the moon.
I've got a really strong desire to, yeah, to, to keep winning bike races, that's what I enjoy and I feel like I've got a good plan of, of what I want to try and achieve next year and I'm excited to get to work and, and try and achieve that.